What's up, everybody? Glad to be bringing you another G.I. Joe retro review. Um, yeah, got this in from Amazon a couple days ago, and I'm super excited to be reviewing it. Of course, I am talking about the G.I. Joe Transformers All Striker Bumblebee with Sergeant Stalker. Let's talk about it. Okay, like I said, I got this in on Amazon a few days ago. I was one of the folks that missed out on the opportunity to get it through Hasbro initially. I can't remember why I missed it exactly, but uh, I was bummed that I didn't get a chance to order it. And then uh, Mutual Acquaintance said that they were able to get theirs through Amazon. And I was like, well, heck, I'll just give it a shot. And I ordered it. And a few days later, it showed right up. Got it probably within two or three days of the initial order. So yeah, um, we're going to open this bad boy up. We're going to see if I can transform the uh, Bumblebee All Striker quicker than I did the uh, previous Transformer, the His Tank that I did. I'm not very good at it. Uh, special shout out to you folks that reached out and told me some sites to follow that do a good job of explaining better than the uh, instruction sheets on how to do Transformers because I am never been good at them, probably never will be. So I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, let's... Break this bad boy open and see what we got. Okay, we've got our typical Transformer crossover G.I. Joe layout, just like the His Tank Megatron set with Baroness. You've got Bumblebee on this side. You've got your All Striker with Stalker on the right. Uh, you've got that faux window to try to make it look like it was in the 80s, even though we know Stalker didn't come with the All Striker. But you get the idea. But now that Hasbro's doing their... Plastic free packaging. This is what we've come to expect. Autobots Bumblebee All Striker on the left. G.I. Joe Lonzo Stalker Wilkinson on the right. So, flipping it over, you've got your typical picture of the All Striker, and then once it's transformed into Bumblebee, uh, I got Stalker down here. You've got your typical tape placement across the back middle, you've got it on the top. And I believe we have one on the front as well. Yeah, so it's just sealed up. And once you remove those, it pulls right apart. Yeah, ages eight plus. Interesting. So yeah, let's go ahead and break it out and see what we've got inside. Okay, I've managed to get the tape off. So let's pull it apart and see what we got here. I say that. Did I miss a piece? Nope, I didn't. So, just like the His Tank Megatron, you just slides out. This is an outer cover. And there we go. So, you get your uh, Hasbro box. Set these out of the way. And yeah, you've got the Hasbro logo on the front. You've got the G.I. Joe Transformers logos with the Crossover X 2022 Bumblebee All Striker. Same on the bottom. And no additional tape. So it should just open right up. And there you go. That's what you've got inside. You're opening it and seeing it the first time as I am. Got Bumblebee. Got the All Striker gun up there, it looks like. The canopy top. The uh, antenna. And of course your uh, Sergeant Stalker mint on card there. So, let me, Al, I've shown that to you. Let me get everything out and secured and we'll, we'll start with Bumblebee. Okay, managed to get Bumblebee, a.k.a. our G.I. Joe All-Striker, out of the package. Um, just first looking at him feels kind of flimsy, and I think that's because when I took it out, he was partially, he came out like this, which just makes him feel like super, like, this does not feel very stable. I'm sure it's more stable than it feels, but... So there he is. Uh, I have not done anything other than what you're seeing right now, so you can pull his legs apart. Of course, there's the top of the G.I. Joe All Striker canopy right here. Uh, a little rubbery, nothing terrible, but kind of what you expect. And then, of course, we've got the antenna. So we've got that. And then we've got his uh, cannon uh, that goes on top of the All Striker and probably works as a blaster for Bumblebee. If I was just to take a quick stab at putting it in his hand, I'm sure it fits perfectly. Yeah, so you can, of course, make him going like that. I mean, yeah, it's a fun figure. It's uh, it's fun from what I'm seeing right now. And, of course, I would say if you're into G.I. Joe, you're less interested in that. Or maybe you're interested in that. But I think the, the, the headliner, of course, is the retro stalker figure, Alonzo Stalker Wilkinson. 
Uh, as you can see in its package, comes with his typical uh, gun. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But yeah, pretty good card back. Not terribly flimsy, but mine was curled a little bit. It's secured in the box in such a way that it does kind of have a... Seems like it's going to have a tendency to, to curl once you take it out. Uh, of course, you've got the brief uh, file card with the multiple languages. Lonzo, Stalker, Wilkinson, Roll, Ranger, Primary Specialty Infantry, Secondary Specialty Medic, Interpreter from Detroit, Michigan. Generals may win campaigns, but it's the sergeants who win the battles, mostly by yelling and kicking butt. <laughs> and of course, you have the picture of him driving the Stalker below. Or I'm sorry, driving the All Striker below, not driving himself. So yeah, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if we can get this uh, Bumblebee transformed. Okay, I finally got it. Uh, let's see, it took me whew, 20 minutes. Um, I didn't show it on here before, but here's the instructions. Um, I gave up on these things because the pictures are just... Uh, for me, they are way too small to understand what's going on. I need something a little more exploded so I can see what's going on. So I just wound up giving up and doing it on my own. And actually, for the All Striker uh, transformation, it's actually fairly intuitive. So the only recommendation I can make is if you're having a hard time, I would honestly just forego the instructions, grab the back box art, and just give it a go. I mean, it's actually pretty pretty easy there's the bottom of it if you're curious um it's actually pretty simple there's what the back looks like so that looks really good and of course it's got full playability you got whatever this thing always was the radar or whatever the steering wheel turns the seats turn the turret or not turn the seats are stationary the turret turns and of course i mean it looks really good it looks really solid uh, no stickers, everything's already on it, so that's really cool. Of course, you can see his arm right there. But yeah, so that is the All Striker Bumblebee in its vehicle mode. So let's jump over to Stalker and get him off the card. Okay, I've taken him off the card. I am now removing him from his plastic prison. Ooh, he is in there tight. Let's start feet first. So there's Stalker. Let's pop that gun out. Perfect. And of course, he also comes with a stand. So, we've got Stalker here. I, I am loving this figure. Oh, it's, it's great. Not seeing any stress on the elbows. Good range of motion there. Nothing wrong with this one. Good range of motion. Knee bends at just about a 90 degree angle. So does the other one. Ah, oh, solid head. Of course, turns left to right. Solid O-ring. Let's put this assault rifle in his hand. Let's put it in his right hand. Perfect. Look at that. Sergeant Stalker. Put him on his stand. Of course, we've got to... Don't have to worry about the heel popping on this one and cracking. Definitely works. Look at that. Solid. I am impressed with what I am seeing so far. So yeah, uh, that's all you get with Stalker, but that's really all you need. Uh, obviously, it's the same gun that came with Duke. I got my Duke over here, so same gun. This one actually feels a little bit more rubbery than this one. Interesting. Um, one thing I didn't check... Let's see the old stamp. 2022 Hasbro SA, made in Vietnam. So as we are aware, Hasbro moved their facilities over to Vietnam now, now to China. So I think that's pretty good. Looking solid. Of course, I'm going to see what he looks like inside the All Striker. So let's take his weapon out. Let's bring the All Striker over. See what we got here. Should be fairly easy. There we go. Like a glove. Fits right in there. And of course, I've got Duke over here, so let's put him in there as well. Sorry, I'm taking off the, the web gear I had on him. I still have his web gear from my last review. I haven't taken it off yet, so of course, we're going to need to get him out of that web gear if he's going to fit in there properly, I'm sure. 
Oh, I am struggle busting over here. That web gear might not be wanting to come off very easily. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, looks like the web gear's staying on. So, let's just throw uh, Duke's helmet on him. You know, safety first. And let's make sure two characters can fit in here, as well as just the single one. And a little tight, but it looks like it fits. We've got Duke and Sergeant Stalker inside the All Striker. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Um, yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. I think I'll probably pick up a second one just to get the uh, a second Stalker figure mint on card. But what do you guys think? Have you picked it up? Are you enjoying it? Are you playing long game on it? I'm pretty sure these are still available and easy to get. Uh, I can't remember what retail is on. I'm going to guess like 40 or 45. Uh, can't remember what it was. But yeah, this is a solid set. And uh, again, if you're wanting Stalker, if you're wanting part of the original 13 Joes, you're going to have to get it. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. He is not, as far as we know right now, going to be released uh, single carded. He's only going to be available with this set. So I'd say while you have the opportunity, put it on your Christmas wish list, your Hanukkah wish list, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to get a present this holiday season. If you like the video, if you stuck around this long, please give me a big old thumbs up, like the video, share it, subscribe. Uh, going to keep doing these reviews because I enjoy them. I think you enjoy them. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.